around the building and around. And um, so I, I just did a preacher thing and I went through the side entrance. And, yeah, I did my thing. That's Thursday. And then everything's going down about this whole COVID-19 and, and, and we've got We've gone crazy. I mean, the, the whole nation has gone crazy. 60 people have died in the nation. Uh, and I want to parallel that to Putnam County. Putnam County, 19 people died. There's 80,000 people in Putnam County and they died from those tornadoes. 60 people out of 330 million have died in the United States. And the whole nation is bonkers. Uh, and it's great that so many people are responding to Putnam <coughs> County. But it's like the nation has lost their focus. They've forgotten Tennessee. And right here is our neighbor. Also, here's where we're not very good neighbors. And, and truly, and, and if you're one of those that did this, chin chain, poo poo on you. But truly, you go to the store and you buy this god awful amount of toilet paper. Because in, in two weeks, if you were locked up at your house for two weeks, you're going to use uh, 12 boxes, uh, 12 cases of toilet paper. Man, that is the runs like you would not do. <laughs> and yet you can leave 11 of those cases. Let's say you buy a case and it's just in case. Yeah, you know, what if I've got five members of my family and every one of us goes two weeks at a time? Well, now we're talking you know, a whole lot. Yeah, it's a month and a half. Um, but you're not going to go through 90 thousand sheets of paper in that amount of time. Man, have we got our priorities upside down as a nation? And are we scared about things? All somebody has to do is say, boo, the boogeyman's out there, and we go nuts. So in the midst of this, I'm just thinking, Lord, what are you trying to tell us here? At Plateau Christian Church, because I can't control my nation. I can't control my president. I can't control, uh, and I definitely can't control the idiots in Washington. I mean, they're morons. <laughs> the only thing I can do is push a button that says, that's the one I vote for, and please, God, uh, let this one not be an idiot too, right? But I pray a whole lot. What I can control is what goes on around me. I can influence you because that's my job. But I also can control what I'm doing. And in the midst of all of this, I mean, everything that's going on, it, it was interesting, you know, as you're reading all this stuff, and we do get obsessive, don't we, about COVID-19 and the coronavirus. And how many of you have just, your, your news watching has kind of skyrocketed a little bit because you're, you're, you're paying attention to how many people are sick and how many have died and all that stuff. You, you, you know, we do get kind of caught up in all the drama. And it, in all of that, at the same time, I'm getting phone calls like crazy from eyes. And it's different people. I, I, um, I can't tell you how many phone calls. I don't know. But at least three different people with International Disaster Emergency Services. And you know, they live in the same country too. And they're dealing with COVID-19, and some of them, they, since it's based out of uh, the Kentucky, um, uh, Ohio region, you know, that's where the majority of their work is coming from, uh, they're shut down up there as far as um, churches and organizations meeting and all that. And guess what I just do? They're ready to come right here, right now, at this point, to help out those people in Putnam County who lost homes, who lost lives, who lost family members. I mean, to me, that's pretty phenomenal. To me, that is what the Bible teaches us about being responsive to those that are around us. To me, that is what Jesus is talking about here. Uh, you don't care about your own safety. Why? Why? I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength through a man who is in prison, chained to a Roman guard, and facing death. To live as Christ, to die as gain, is the same man. And every one of those people on the pages of the New Testament lived and breathed with this idea that this, this church is here 
for eternity, and right now we are to be a testimony and a, and a hands and feet of God to help those who are in need. That's what we exist for. And true, Lewistown, Montana Church, they're sitting there, they're streaming right now. Uh, and nobody's in the building other than the preacher and a couple others. But boy, they sent us a ton of money to be able to help the here and now, right now. And by the way, I look forward to the day because it will likely turn around and at some point in the future, guess what we're probably going to do? Send them some money or send them some help. Right? That's helping your neighbor. Gary, um, who's not here right now, uh, Gary's going to spend six weeks in Montana at Pine Haven Children's Ranch just working at the ranch. He's already coordinated with their people. That's helping your neighbor. So, so let's finish with our core verse. So in everything, in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. For this sums up the law and the prophets. So, coronavirus, what can you control? Wash your hands like you want your surgeon to wash his hands before he sticks his hands in your chest. Just do that. Um, don't wipe your face. Um, you know, there's not too much else you can do, right? I mean, you can just be clean. But boy, there's neighbors who are hurt. <coughs> there's, there's moms who have washed children and you can help comfort them. Because what would you want if you lost your child? You'd want somebody to come alongside and comfort you. If a big wind comes along Tuesday, and you said Tuesday we're going to have more storms. If a big storm comes along and, and uh, rips your house to, uh, to ribbons, um, what would you want somebody to come alongside and help you through, you know, just that tragedy? So you, you do it for somebody else who's experiencing that, right? Who's my neighbor? Whoever died, you send my life. Father, I just pray a blessing upon this assembly. That right now, as we, we go into this time of meditation and offering and giving, but particularly as we as Rudy comes to share a message about communion, I pray, Father, we're mindful of your sacrifice. We're mindful of how much you have loved us. May we love you that much, as much as we possibly can in our finite, corrupt, fallible human way. But Father, may we try and echo you, try and just ape you, uh, just copy you. <coughs> and when it comes to our fellow man, may we love them as much as is possible. In Jesus' name. In uh, preparation for the Lord's Supper, I was moved to go to uh, Psalm 1830, and I used the ESV version. This God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord proves true. He is a shield for all those who take refuge in him. Has it ever struck you how important it is that God is perfect? We know God is all-powerful all-knowing, all-loving, and absolutely pure and holy and just. But he is also absolutely perfect. What if he wasn't perfect? What if he made mistakes or failed to keep his promise or did things halfway or occasionally told a lie or slipped up and forgot to do what he said he would. All these things, in other words, what we often do or fail to do. 
If God were this way, why bother to trust him? Why bother to worship him? But, God isn't like this. God is perfect, absolutely, totally perfect in all he is and all he does. And because he is perfect, you can trust him. You can trust him to guide you, and you can trust him to be with you in life's darkest times. And yes, you can trust him to be with you in life's darkest time. Most of all, you can trust him to save you through Christ, because his way of salvation is perfect. Now, if you've already forgotten, remember that when we pass the bread and the wine, it's going to be in two cups. So remember to take the two cups apart. Now I'm going to use Matthew 26, 26 through 28 as the institution of the Lord's Supper. Now as they were eating, Jesus took the bread and after blessing it, broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take eat, this is my body. And he took a cup and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them saying, Drink of it all, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant which is poured out for the many for the forgiveness of sins. Pray with me. Heavenly Father, thank you for all your blessings, especially for sending your Son, Jesus, to suffer and die on the cross for all our sins. May his body and his blood of the new covenant refresh our hearts, our minds, and our souls. And remind us of his coming. All this we pray in his name. Amen. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.